this is our future. This is where we want our future to be. We can bridge that digital world into our real world environment. I'm Lori Brown. I'm Associate Professor at Western Michigan University College of Aviation. I came to the teaching environment from the commercial airline industry. I don't have the space or the budget to have a brand new Boeing 787 in my classroom. But with mixed reality, I can bring that into the classroom and allow the students to have that experience, including doing the full walk around of the aircraft and engage with those types of technologies. I started early on looking for ways to bridge that gap. And actually, I got my inspiration from a quote that I saw from Walt Disney, where Walt Disney said, if you mix the old with the new, you get new all over again. So that's exactly what I did. I went back to my days when I started flying, where all we had was a poster. First thing you would do is take your poster up to your wall, put your chair in front of it, and chair fly. So I wanted that poster to come alive for my students. I wanted my students to be able to actually press those buttons and have something happen. There it is. Gaze on the plus sign. Yeah, go to the plus. Yep. And in the second row on the right, you'll see... HoloLens is a headset that you wear for mixed reality where you're able to overlay your digital content onto your real world. The Jet Explorer allows the students to have hands-on interaction in a flight deck. I can see it, I can visualize it. A lot of times you can hear the instructions in, in your ears and then you're also going through the motions of it. So it helps uh, with that whole learning process. It's incorporating what you see, what you see and what you touch. It's easier to break it down for me. It's easier to, when it highlights things, it's easier for me to understand exactly what I'm supposed to be seeing and exactly what I'm supposed to be learning about. I hope this is like a step into the future. So every student would end up with a HoloLens and would be able to use that in not just aviation, but in the medical field or in any other field that's possible. For all technically driven education, we can use these types of technology to interact and allow our students to be engaged and to practice what they're doing. That's really the key. Anytime you're learning something, you need the opportunity to get some hands-on experience to practice what you're doing. When we're young, we don't always dream as big as we could. We really undersell ourselves and undercut ourselves of what we can do. And that's one thing that I've learned throughout my career is that dream big and keep dreaming because it's out there.